All right, anatomy and physiology students, let's take a quick look now at the connective tissues. Remember, you want to use your wish list while you're looking at these. On the website, you'll come to tissues, open that up, and there's your connective tissue wish list. And you just want to, <clears throat> excuse me, be sure you're looking at everything on that wish list as you go through the tissues in the as you go through all of these in the in the PAL or practice anatomy lab program so in PAL in PAL we'll start from the main page you're gonna look at histology and then um, connective tissues and we'll turn the labels on so everything lights up nicely and this first one is that gener generic areolar connective tissue where you can just see some of those thicker collagen fibers. You can see the fibroblasts, which are the elongate cells sitting right on the fibers. If you see any rounded cells, those are probably immune cells, especially if they're not sitting right on the fibers. You can <laughs> see elastic tissues like this, which are the ones that the elastic fibers are the ones that have a curly cue to them. Although some of these thinner background tissues may well be fiber um, reticular fibers as well. They're not labeled here, but remember that's on your wish list, the reticular fibers that form that background of straight, thin fibers in the tissue. Moving along, we're, anything that's dermis, that's related to the skin, we're not going to worry about right now. Um, this is adipose tissue or fat tissue. You can see the nice big adipose fat cells. You can see some of them have nuclei on their surface big rounded cells filled with fat. These spaces between here are filled with collagen fibers as part of that um, as part of that matrix background of um, reticular fibers that the cells are oriented on. This is a view of the fat cells just closer up. Again, the big um, you know, fat cells that you can see there. There you can see a couple of their nuclei on the surface and there you can see some of those nice collagen fibers that wind through the tissue and that the cells are situated on the reticular fibers collagen made out of collagen this is now a lymph node this is a reticular tissue so it's mostly fibers that um, fibers reticular collagen fibers that the cells are sitting on and you see this really nicely in a much higher power view which we'll see here where look at all the reticular fibers that are labeled and if you look through here you can start to see Lymphocytes. You can start to see it, uh, throughout the entire slide sorry I'm trying to get rid of this you can see those reticular fibers just labeled throughout here you can see the background of little reticular dark reticular fibers throughout the entire slide and of course the little dots everywhere are the lymphocytes they don't really label them very nicely by making that whole thing light up like that all right that's a reticular connective tissue dense regular connective tissue this is a so-so slide but you can see this much more you can see the the nice dense collagen fibers all lined up along here and you can see all of the fibroblasts through there that produce the collagen fibers and here's a even nicer view look at those fibers lined up along there with the fibroblasts interspersed throughout there they're showing you just one region the whole thing is really filled up with collagen fibers in that regular dense connective tissue this is dense irregular connective tissue. This is the skin, but we would pay attention to this now just as a best example of that dense irregular connective tissue. There you can see all the collagen fibers that pretty much fill the whole tissue, as you can see. And of course, this part down here is the underlying adipose tissue supporting nerves and blood vessels. This is a, a, just a nicer up-close view of those dense irregular collagen fibers all spread out throughout here and all of the fibroblasts throughout here. When they say nuclei, you know, that's what stains, but you can really think about those as the entire fibroblast cell. That's what's on your wish list. <clears throat> This is an elastic connective tissue. The elastic fibers are very curly Q or, you know, in, in a wave like that, they stain much darker. They don't tend to show up in the same stain as the collagen fibers. So a really nice view of this from the aorta. And that's just another view of more of that elastic fiber with a curly Q or the kind of wound up fibers like that. Um, yet another close-up view of the elastic fibers in the aorta. The rest of this is all cartilage and bone, which we'll do as a, a separate review as part of a separate lab. Good luck. Enjoy the tissues.